Wow! AI can now code, can create poetry, can create content around many topics and can offer business guidance. The hype surrounding chat GPT inspired me to bring it up here. I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process of signing up and trying this out for yourself. ChatGPT stands for Chat Generative Pre-trained Transformer and this is a chatbot developed by OpenAI. The models were trained in collaboration with Microsoft. Well, Microsoft is set to change the search engine technology. In fact, let's do something. We will ask the model to introduce itself much later. Let me tell you about OpenAI. They currently have three products at the time of recording this video. Our main focus is GPT. To begin with, we must set up an account. We have to fill the form with your email address, fill out the text box provided, confirm that you are not a robot by finishing the tax and then click continue. You can also use existing Google or Microsoft accounts if you already have one. Enter your password of choice, then click continue. You will be asked for your phone number and an OTP will be sent. Just enter the OTP and click continue. Users who have already signed into their browsers with a Google or Microsoft account can do so even by following the process just on your screen. Now let's get to the good part. This is the GPT's environment interface. It displays sample of questions as well as their strengths and limitations. Be aware that it cannot provide more recent information because it was only trained with data up to 2021. Now, if you don't understand, go back and watch the video on how machines learn. Let's ask some questions, shall we? I asked it to introduce itself and it gave me a very detailed account of itself. It also said it doesn't have human experiences. Obviously, I don't think we expected it to. I asked as to whether it was capable of any other thing outside of just having conversations the short version of the response was that it only applies to text-based communication. Remember that we said it was trained with information up till 2021, so expecting very recent information may be asking too much. I asked it to compose a love poem in pidgin language, which is spoken predominantly in Nigeria, Ghana and other places around the world. Check out the response it gave for yourself, I think it did quite well. I requested that it compose a similar poem in Hindi and sent it to a friend. She almost felt I was going out of my way to impress a lady, but it was all AI. I could tell she was also impressed with the poem it came up with. I decided to ask it to pitch an idea of selling a course, especially for those in marketing, and it did a good job. I have no doubt that affiliate marketers will also benefit from this. Additionally, I asked it to develop a landing page to market a course product titled Get Your Money Up and it provided me with the entire page's content. I decided to take it a step further. I asked it to convert that into a HTML code. Now, it will be useless if we don't see the implementation of the code, right? So I ran the code to see the result, and I must say it was really straightforward to read and easy to allow users to make modifications as needed. You wouldn't think I would leave this page just like this, right? I had to add some CSS to make it look good, and all this was done simply by using GPT. I also requested it to suggest some YouTube ideas around making videos about ChatGPT and it gave pretty good responses. In fact, I will be using some of these ideas in my upcoming videos. I honestly think it will pass off for a therapeutic engine, also allowing people to share how they feel even though it wouldn't understand human emotions. I will advise such individuals to speak with a qualified counselor if you are considering doing so. Please get in touch with using the form in the description below for free. I also requested it to write a letter to a 5 year old to let her know that I miss her and will be home for the holidays next year. And honestly speaking, it did a very good job. I will show you the response it gave to me trying to complete school assignments or a school tax. This shows its ability to efficiently serve a wide range of people from students to content creators, affiliate marketers, programmers and the list goes on. I think this will count as some of the advantages of AI. Keep in mind that GPT is extremely trained using a large amount of data. It does not possess a mind of its own. What do you think based on our previous video? 
Do you think GPT will count as strong AI or weak AI? Let me know your answers in the comment section. There are still a lot of responses that could be proven, but I must applaud the OpenAI team. They have done a pretty good job at natural language processing. I will end saying this. Technology is here to make your life easier. This shouldn't make us lazier. See you next time and have a wonderful Christmas and holiday celebrations.